All right. Hi, guys. I'm Karen Blacher. For those of you who are just tuning in and who are not part of the event that I am training for, here is a little context for you so that you're not utterly confused because I know I have a lot of followers on this channel. Well, a lot for me. Um, this is actually a series of training videos for a group of wonderful volunteer face painters for an incredibly large scale community event. So I am going to be training fast faces that do not require a significant amount of uh, experience, although they are gonna require practice, ladies and gentlemen. Um, and I am doing them using only four colors, black, white, orange, pink. Four color faces. We're gonna do a menu of six designs that you can do super quick using only four colors and a limited setup. Uh, and two brushes. In fact, you only really need one, but we'll do two. One for colors, one for whites. Two, um, Two round brushes, four colors, a couple of sponges, water and glitter. This is gonna be awesome. So, the first thing I'm gonna show you guys before I even get into faces, okay, I'm gonna show you the technique that I need you to practice. You gotta master your thick to thin lines and your teardrops because those are gonna really open up possibilities for you. So I am gonna right now load up my brush. For those of you who've never done this before, okay, these paints, they're like watercolors, all right? Not a whole heck of a lot's gonna come off while they're dry. You need to wet them rather than dipping in your water and wetting them. I like to spray because it gives me a little bit more control of how much water I'm putting in there. And also because I know I'm putting clean water on my paints and not icky blicky rinse water. So I'm gonna spray my paint. Now because it's the first time I'm using it, I'm giving it two or three. If I'm spraying it in the middle, I'm only gonna spray it about once. And then I'm gonna really work into it with my brush to work that water in because if you have too much water in your paint, it'll drip and nobody wants drippy paint. Okay, now again, because I'm just wetting this, I actually, this isn't quite wet enough for me. I'm going to wet it a little more. And now it's a little too wet, so I'm going to go ahead and work that water into the paint until I get a nice consistency. Snazaroo is a very soft paint. Um, a little is going to go a long way. It blends really well. It can be a little difficult for line work, um, but it doesn't have to be perfect. You'll get it. You just have to figure out the consistency. All right, I am going to practice on my face so that you can see it. When you guys practice, practice on each other or practice on your inner arm because it's gonna be easier for you to control and you don't wanna learn how to do it on yourself and then have to relearn how to do it on somebody else. That's what I did, you don't have time. So, the first technique I want you guys to master, okay, when you paint a line, all right, I am doing it on my arm. I lied, I'm not doing it on my face. I'm doing it on my arm. When you paint a line, don't do this. See how that is an even consistency line? I pressed super hard on the brush. I have a thick line. If you want your line work to look really good and really professional, here's the trick. Oh, let me show you. While I'm loading here, I'm twisting my brush because our brushes are pointy. This actually is not my pointiest brush, but our brushes are pointy and that point is gonna allow you to do what I'm showing you how to do. When you make a line, if you want a thin line, you press lightly. To make it thicker, you press hard. And the real trick is to do thick to thin in a single line. Thin, thick, thin. That's what I need you to practice because that's what you're gonna need to do for tigers. Uh, it's also gonna really help you out on the butterfly I'm gonna show you how to do. So any shape you do, you could start thin, go to thick, and come back to thin. Thin, thick, thin. Makes a huge difference in polish. So that is technique one that I want you to practice. Technique two is teardrops. Teardrops are also a thick to thin line. You're starting thick and then you're pulling it out to a point. Here's a straight teardrop. I'm running out of skin. Here's a straight teardrop. Okay, I'm pressing hard on my brush and I'm flicking. That's a teardrop. Here's a curly teardrop. Press straight on my brush, pull it towards the point that I want it to end. Please note, I've been doing teardrops for a lot of years. It took me a really long time to get good at this. It's gonna take you a while to get good at it too. And that's totally okay. And it doesn't have to be perfect. High volume event, the kids don't really care. So, nice and clean. This is why we practice in white. Easy to wash off. All right. 
trick with teardrops is you always want the point of the teardrop to point at the same place as the points of all the other teardrops. Let me show you what I mean. This is a super quick eye accent that you will be able to do if you master your swirls and teardrops, okay? Where you just run three teardrops into the corner of the eye. That's it, teardrops, okay? Or you could do it with a swirl. Do a swirl coming down first, thin, thick, thin, okay? And then teardrops. And I'm doing this without a mirror. I'm doing this just looking at my camera, so I'm kind of sucking at it, which is okay. All right, see? It's cute, it's little, it's great. You wanna finish that off? Go back at it with another color. How about pink? So now I'm loading up my brush in my pink. Again, don't overwet your paint. If you do overwet your paint, recognize that you have overwet your paint and really work the water into your paint before you try to paint, because you don't want to drip, okay? I can come back over the same design and stick a shadow on the back of each of them. Sound effects help. See? It's a cute, super quick, fun design. And I can pop it with glitter. Now with the loose glitter, okay, you just take your dry finger, stick it in the glitter, you pick up a little bit of glitter, can you see that? And you just tap it on the design. Make sure your design is not too wet when you do this. It'll stick where there's paint, it won't stick where there isn't. And it just gives you a little bit of extra. Oh, isn't that pretty? So there is a super quick swirl and teardrop design. If you practice your swirls and teardrops, this goes on in about 10 seconds. You guys, there are a lot of you. You will have more than 10 seconds, so you can take your time and do this right. All right, I am going to wash this off because I forgot to put wipes at my table. You should absolutely always have wipes at your table. Not so much for removing face paint as for cleaning little faces, for fixing your mistakes, but also in a pinch for removing face paint. I'll be right back.